Hello, this is Hashkin, and in today's episode, I would like to talk about the Slave 1. I have decided to create the Slave 1 animation based on the request from the audience post last week. Personally, I think the Slave 1 was an interesting choice, and I found it to be a rather unique vessel in the Star Wars series. The Slave 1 was a modified prototype Fire Spray 31 class used by the bounty hunter Jango Fett and his clone son Bubba Fett. The ship was greatly modified with the advanced weapon system by both Fett during the fall of the Republic and during the reign of the Galactic Empire. The ship in its original form was produced by the company of Karat Drive Yard. Already during its time under Django, the Slave 1 was a very effective and customized ship, armed with superior shielding technology, high level of endurance, and had many hidden and overt weapons. When his son Bubba Fett took over the ship, he made his own modification so the Slave 1 was filled with heavy duty shield generator, several new weapon systems, and various types of sensor. However, with the exception of the twin blaster cannon, most of the weapon system remained hidden. Let's take a closer look at the Slave 1 exterior. At the front of the ship is the cockpit energy shield and cargo hold section for good and merchandise. The ship has two stabilizing fanning extruded from the side of the ship, which can rotate during flight. Further back is the rotating twin blaster cannon as well as two rapid firing laser cannon, and at the rear of the vessel is the loading dock. As we head toward the bottom of the ship, we can find the ion drive, the how powered rectenna for wireless power transmission, and also the mine layer magazine. The slave one is measured at 21.5 meters in length, or 70 feet, and a height of 7.8 meters or 25 feet. In addition, the ship has a wingspan of 21.3 meters or 70 feet and has a maximum speed of 1,000 km per hour or 621 miles per hour. As we head toward the front of the ship, we can see the flight deck. The cockpit sensor scope display readout for the ship's navigation, atmospheric data, and weapon system. The interior of the Slave 1 includes a deck simulator on a gyro system, allowing the occupant to stay upright no matter what position the ship is in. The Slave 1 has enough space to house up to six prisoners that have bounties on their head. The ship was also outfitted with a sensor array that could detect changes in the ship mass, which can be used to find homing beacon. The F1 tractor beam generator was used to project force field to guide vessel to safe designated landing. Toward the bottom of the ship is the Karat X16 power generator and the deflector generator used to create a protective shield for the Slave 1. At the front of the ship are the main engine, communication monitor, and a sensor jamming unit which allows the ship to be invisible to radar. This sensor gives FET the ability to enter any planets without any hassle. The Slave 1 also possesses a special proton torpedoes mounted with homing beacon and a life support system. While Bubba Fett is notorious for disintegrating those who has been hired to kill, some bounty required that the prisoner be brought back alive. So I decided to add a new section called Design Flaw, which is quite popular in the comment section. So the thing that I find that's kind of odd about the Slave 1 design has to do when the ship rotates. Uh, wouldn't this cause issue with the prisoner inside the cages? Another thing that I find that's kind of odd is when the ship is on a horizontal plane. You can see that the platform is actually facing the opposite direction. So far, 
I haven't seen any restroom on the Slave 1 blueprint, and supposedly he's going to have a female cast in the book of Bubble Fett. So with that in mind, I would highly recommend an upgrade at least. Anyway, if you'd like to mention any design flaws of the Slave 1, put your comment below this video. Jenga put the Slave 1 through extensive modification after a harsh battle in space. The original fit of the Fire Spray Patrol craft was only furnished for a short term patrol run. Under Bubba, the Slave 1 had several prisoner cages and was equipped with weapons that could take out other heavily armed ships with ease. Furthermore, the ship became well known to the Galaxy Fugitive, who recognized it as the Galaxy Deadliest Bounty Hunter. During the Galactic Civil War, the adult Bubba Fett flew the Slave 1 to meet up with the Imperial Fleet. Darth Vader later tasked Bubba and a group of bounty hunters to capture Han Solo. So what are your thoughts on the Slave 1? I hope you guys enjoyed this analysis of the Slave 1. And if you like my content, do me a favor and just hit the like button and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.